So you want to do a Master of Data Science in Australia but aren't really sure which university to go to or which course to do, then you've come to the right place. Today I'll be reviewing all of the Master of Data Science degrees in Australia and telling you all about the fees, course structure, course duration and university rankings. I'm Saman Ver and I'm a data scientist based in Sydney, Australia. In my research for this video, I took a look at 17 of the most popular data science courses in Australia. And and these are spread across six cities, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney, and Brisbane. I've listed all of my findings in the table that you can see here and you can access this in the link in the description below. Feel free to open it up as I walk you through what I found. Typically a Master of Data Science degree is split up into four sections. You've got the Foundation, Core, Elective and Research or Internship section. In the Foundation section you'll mostly be doing Foundation subjects in Statistics and Computer Science to help you prepare for all of the other Data Science units. Think of this as learning the basic tools that'll help you conquer the data science units. The course section is where you'll be doing the more meaty data science subjects such as learning about cloud computing, databases, machine learning and data storytelling. And these are usually units that are compulsory for all students. The third section is the elective section. This is where you'll do elective units out of a recommended list of data science subjects or non-specific subjects. So if you really enjoy programming then you can take extra programming courses to really hone your skills. In this regard I found RMIT University and University of Melbourne to be really amazing at offering a variety of electives for students to do. University of Melbourne especially allowed you to even do subjects outside of your data science degree. Finally the last semester of your degree will usually be a research project or an internship based on what your interest is. So universities like Monash University give you the option of picking between the two based on whether you want to go down the research path or the more industrial experience path. So this is definitely the most valuable part in my opinion of a data science degree and this component will really give you the real world experience of what data science is like. Majority of the data science courses are two years long which I believe is ample time to learn data science without getting too overwhelmed especially if you're new to this field. Some universities like Macquarie University and Deakin University even give you some credit based on your previous degree. So if you had done computer science or statistics, you might avoid doing some of the foundational courses. The shortest degree I found was University of Sydney's Master of Data Science which is one year but looking at the course structure this is really a bare bones degree where I believe you definitely need some knowledge of computer science and statistics to get the most out of it. If you're enjoying the video so far then consider subscribing. I make weekly videos demystifying the land of data science. The course content between the degrees are really quite similar so it's a bit hard to discriminate between the degrees but you should note that um, the Master of applied data analytics degree from the Australian National University doesn't have a research or internship components to it, both of which I really believe are essential for you to get the full experience of studying data science. Majority of the degrees have two semesters in a given study year, but universities like UNSW and Deakin University have trimesters. So you actually have three semesters per year, which means you'll have less holidays but more time to study which can effectively shorten the length of your degrees. For example the Master of Data Science degree at UNSW is around 1.7 years. As for the fees, the annual fees range for anywhere from $33,000 to $47,000. The cheapest being the degree from Western Sydney University, the most expensive being from Australian National University and the University of Sydney. This is international fees but but the domestic fees will be only slightly lower. As a domestic student, you can also apply for Commonwealth supported place, which will reduce your fees from anywhere up to 50% to 75% per year. Always make sure to apply for scholarships at the university that you're applying for. And in terms of fees, it's usually the case that the universities that belong to the group of eight are typically higher. So the group of eight is a list of the oldest universities in Australia. Therefore, they have a good brand name and 
international recognition that go with it. So definitely if you've got the money to spend, I would recommend going to a group of eight university because it can help you secure those competitive data science positions after you graduate. But at the end of the day, it's your own competence that will help you secure that role in the future. Let's talk about entry requirements. If you're an international student, you'll have to sit tests like ILTS or TOEFL. Most of the universities require you to get an overall of 6.5 in ILTS with at least six in reading, writing, speaking, and listening. And in addition to the English speaking test, you might also have a requirement for a minimum grade of 65% in your undergrad. But that again varies from university to university. Then be sure to check out the handbook for more specific details based on the university. And I've linked all of those in the table that I've given you. For domestic students, obviously you'll only have the grade requirement for the undergrad. And if you're applying for Commonwealth supported places, um, these tend to be highly competitive. So your academic performance really matters when it comes to securing one of those positions. It's not really like in bachelors where everyone gets a Commonwealth supported position. Finally, which is the best data science degree? I would say that the majority of the courses do a great job in teaching you all you need to know about data science and preparing you for the workplace. But if I really had to pick one, I'd definitely go with University of Melbourne's Master of Data Science degree because not only does it do a great job in teaching you all of the fundamentals, but it allows you to customize the degree as you see fit based on your previous experience. And it also gives you access to a wide variety of electives that allow you to diversify your skills as a future data scientist. So that's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed the video, then smash the like button and I'll see you next time.